Shares in electric car maker Rivian slumped around 10% in after-hours trading. That's after the company slashed what was already a modest production outlook for 2021. The startup says it expects to fall a few hundred vehicles short of its year-end goal of 1,200 units. Officials say they've run into supply chain bottlenecks and challenges in making the complex batteries for its cars. Rivian also posted a loss of more than $1.2 billion in the third quarter of the year, meeting Wall Street expectations. But there's encouraging news for investors. The company says orders for its SUV and pickup truck have risen to 71,000 as of December the 15th. That's 28% higher from the previous tally of 55,000 in November. It also announced plans to build a $5 billion factory in the state of Georgia, which is expected to start operations in 2024. Now for more, let's go to Chris Jones in London. He's the chief analyst at the global tech market analysis firm, Canalis. Welcome back to the program, Chris. Now, how would you describe this first financial report for Rivian after its IPO? Is this a small bump in the road? Should we cut them some slack? Or is there more that investors and its customers should be worried about? Hi, good morning. Yeah, no, it's not really a bump in the road. You know, Rivian has barely left the driveway. You know, it's, it's very early days for Rivian as a company, but it is operating in the spotlight now. It's a publicly traded company. Every, every financial results are going to be closely scrutinized. But there's more good news coming out of, out of the results uh, today than, than bad. So the strategy hasn't changed. There's lots of good news for the future. But yeah, you know, the whole industry is struggling with, uh, with component shortages right now. And, and there are bottlenecks um, throughout the, the industry right now. So I'm not concerned. So one piece of good news that the Rivian did announce was this new factory in the U.S. state of Georgia. How has this suddenly become a viable option for companies like Rivian and Tesla, which is also ramping up production in the U.S.? When not even 15 years ago, Detroit's auto giants needed government bailouts, billions of dollars, billions of, dollars of it, just to survive. Yeah, you're right. I mean, Tesla and Rivian, they have the means to invest now. The old organizations, the old companies, you know, they're... they're too slow, too big, there are too many brands, too many models, too many trims to, to kind of manage working with old technology with a inefficient supply chain. You know, Tesla saw that and they saw a huge opportunity to disrupt the market many years ago. And they they bettered, you know, they, they improved on all those aspects um, that the old um, car manufacturers were struggling with. And with a focus on EVs that Tesla had and now Rivian also has, they're in the right market, the right part of the market, the hot area of the market. EVs are booming around the world, albeit with supply chain issues here and there. But um, they're in the right part of the market and they have the means to, to invest and, and you know, expand their manufacturing capability greatly in the next few years. All right. Chris Jones, Chief Analyst at Canalis in London. Thank you for the analysis.